call the math lady. Today we're working on finding a whole when a percent is known. Okay, how do you do it? Take a look at the first example. 40% of the students could shoot a three-point basket. We're talking basketball here. <laughs> if 80 students can shoot a three-pointer, how many students are there in total? So what I'm trying to say in this problem is that 40% of the students who can shoot that three-pointer three is equal to 80 actual students. All right, well, how many are there in total? We have to do a little bit of translation here. So 40%, I'm going to write 40% of the students. Well, of in math means multiply. And I'm going to use S for students. So S of the total students equals 80 students. So there's my 80. Now, before we can work on this problem, we've got to take this percent and either turn it into a fraction or a decimal. Well, it's really easy when you have that, like just zero hanging on at the end, to turn your 40 into a point 0.4. So point 0.4 S equals 80. And now this is just a division problem. Remember, when we divide by a decimal, we have to move that decimal over to the right by clearing it. Remember that? So I'm going to use my red marker. We're going to clear it. We're going to move this guy over one place. Boom. And now we've got 4 into 800. So 4 goes into 8 two times, 0 and 0. So our answer, the total number of students, is 200 students. Now, you can use this in a word problem, or you can just have a straight math problem like this. 70% of what number is 420? Process is still the same. Take your percent, turn it into a fraction or a decimal, and again, when it's something as easy as a percent with a zero on the end, decimal is the easiest way to go. So, 0 0.7 times what number, let's just use x, equals 420, because my is turns into an equal, and there I have my 420. And now we just have a division problem, but we have to clear that decimal out of the problem by moving it one to the right. Let me get my red. Boom. Boom. Okay, so we've got a 6, a 0, and a 0. So x is 600. And that's your answer. You could also reverse the way you asked the question. So 24 is 40% of what number? Still the same. So 24 is, is an equal sign. 40% goes to a decimal of what number? Let's make it an X. And now we've got to divide both sides by our 0.4, right? I wasn't showing you this in the last ones, but I thought I would sneak it in here. And that's just the division problem where well, we're going to have to clear that boom and boom. Decimal goes right there, which means our number is going to be 60. 60 is our answer. Okay, very simple. As long as you can change that percent to a decimal, usually the easiest way to go, you could do it to a fraction, and multiply where appropriate, and divide where appropriate, it's all good. Okay, make sure you hit the practice set. We're almost done. Time to get out of here. See you next time. Bye-bye.